let's make dal curry, shall we? The dal is basically lentils. So I am using this just for me today. So I'm using about one cup of lentils and I have rinsed the lentils and I have picked out any black specks. Typically for curry, you will use about five spices. Of course, we have salt, pepper, chili powder, curry powder, and turmeric. For later on in the process, we have ingredients such as tomatoes, garlic, red onion, cinnamon, and fresh ginger. One teaspoon of salt, about a half teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, and the chili powder is up to you. I am slowly getting used to spice, so I'm just going to add almost less than a fourth, about an eighth of a teaspoon. So we have all of our yummy seasonings in. Next up will be the tomatoes and we will start cooking. For curry, mustard seeds are always used as well as cumin seeds. Let's get started. You're going to want to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Keep this rotating in the pan so it doesn't burn. Let's keep going. We're going to add our garlic and ginger. Onions come in next. You want the garlic and onion to sort of be golden. I mean, that is beautiful. I'm gonna turn down the heat a bit. And add the cinnamon. And once the cinnamon is fried, next step is the lentils. Going right in. The objective here is to just fry them enough that they begin to cook. And you will know when you get a nice aroma of the turmeric, chili powder, curry powder. Okay, so let's add about a cup of chicken broth. We're gonna turn up the heat, add the lid, and visit it again in about 10 minutes. So it's the time to put in your tomatoes, which I just added the tomatoes. I will say that the addition of tomatoes is a Western idea of my own <laughs> because with doll, uh, Sri Lankans do not add tomatoes. Tomatoes go into the meat dishes, so prawn, chicken, beef. I added the tomatoes because I love the brightness of the color and the bit of acidity for the flavor. Mm -hmm.